you know, how do we load large constants? So we've seen that we can easily load 16-bit constants using the immediate format instructions, but how do we get more than 16 bits of constant? So the immediate field is limited to 16 bits of constant, but obviously we want more than that sometimes. How do we do that? And the answer in MIPS is we use two instructions, and each one of them has 16 bits of immediate, and we use two instructions to combine the two 16-bit halves to make one 32-bit constant. So the first instruction is load upper immediate, LUI, and this loads the upper 16 bits, so the top half of the 32-bit word. Then we use OR immediate, which loads the lower 16 bits. So let's take a look at this. So here's the example we want to load. We want to load a constant which is 101010 for the first 16 bits, and then 11110000 for the second 16 bits. So how are we going to load this? We're going to load it in two chunks, first the upper chunk, then the lower chunk. We're going to load it into R2. So first we call load upper immediate R2 with our immediate field, I'm sorry, with our immediate value. And this puts the immediate value into the upper part of R2 and fills the rest of R2 with zeros. So this is now what we have in R2. Now we need to load the lower part. So now we call OR immediate R2 again with the other half of the 16-bit value. And what this does is it ORs that value into the lower parts of it and gives us the final value. Now this works because load upper immediate puts zeros in here. So when we put zeros in here, when we OR the zeros with something, we get all the ones to come through, and so we get the right value. So a question. Is the immediate sign extended for the ORI instruction? Well, the answer here is no. If it was sign extended, we might end up with the wrong value. So let's take a look at this. Here's our ORI. What would happen if it was sign extended? Well, we'd sign extend it like this. We get a whole bunch of ones here because the last value is a one. When we then went through and ORed this in, we'd replace all of the zeros up here with ones and we'd get the wrong value. So logical operations don't sign extend when they use immediates. It's only the arithmetic ones which do that because they figure you're adding numbers. So question, why do we have both the load upper immediate and the or immediate instructions in order to load a full 32-bit constant? Well, the reason here is the load upper immediate loads the upper half and the or i, the or immediate, loads the lower half. So we've got two instructions to load the two halves of the 32-bit value. 